going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at the secret auction location for dealers only. Let's jump into this today with number one on my list. How about a 2019 Cadillac Escalade with 62,000 miles on the odometer? What a beautiful SUV. I know a lot of people got upset with me when I bought the Grand Wagoneer and I compared it to an Escalade. A lot of people felt that that was, that was a biased review and that I was hating on the Escalade. Nothing could be further from the truth. I've always loved the Escalade. How could you not love an Escalade? Take a look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Uh, but I still felt like the Grand Wagoneer was far nicer. Far nicer. Yeah. yeah, this is a little older. I mean, it's not super old, obviously. It's a 2019. It's only a few years old. But as far as technology goes, this thing's ancient compared to the new uh, Grand Wagoneer, as well as the new Escalade. Now, I would mention the, uh, the Lincoln Navigator, except I don't think they've come out with a refresh yet. So the Navigator is kind of old as well. I mean, this is very nice. And I've had a lot of people asking, what happened to the Grand Wagoneer? Well, if you don't follow me on Facebook and Instagram, then I guess you don't know what happened because I posted it on my Facebook and my Instagram page. I traded it in. I got rid of it really, really quickly. Um, I had some issues. I had quite a few issues out of it and I just wasn't gonna deal with it. When you pay $100,000, and I believe that one was 120 grand, when you pay $120,000 for a vehicle, you expect top-notch everything, and everything better work the way it should. Well, the Grand Wagoneer has a new uh, infotainment system called Uconnect like five or six or 22, I don't remember. But the new Uconnect system that runs everything, the screens everywhere, um, it's glitchy. And that advanced driver assist, basically the fancy cruise control, it tried pulling me off the highway one day with Jessica in the car with me. Um, I had my hand resting down here and I was letting it pretty much drive itself, but you gotta keep your hand on the wheel. So my hand was just resting here and out of nowhere, we're driving down the highway, nothing's going wrong. And then suddenly the wheel jerked like this and took me out of my lane and tried to cross all the way across the highway. Like it pulled me this direction. I had to grab it and jerk the wheel back, forcing it the other direction. And after that, and all of the glitchy bugs going on, screens would turn off, GPS would lock up and turn itself off. And there was just so many issues. The lower screen would shut off and then it would come back and then it would shut off. Then the, the main infotainment screen would just shut off and go black. And it wouldn't come back on until you shut the car off and turn it back on again. Unacceptable, unacceptable. But the last straw for me was when the steering wheel jerked itself to the left and tried to pull me out of my lane on the interstate. Uh, that was when I said for 120 grand, I don't think so. I got rid of it and I got the TRX. So maybe I would have been better off with an Escalade V, but truthfully looking at it now, I am not really an SUV kind of guy. And then no offense to those of you that love your SUVs at all. I do like them. I think they're really nice. I love this, but I'm also here to tell you things like this, these super luxurious, uh, vehicles, they depreciate so fast. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not even going to tell you how much I lost. I didn't have that Grand Wagoneer, but for maybe a month and a half. And I think I put 8,000 miles on it. <laughs> All I'm going to tell you is, uh, I lost a lot of money. I lost a lot of money. I, I haven't done the math, but I think I've lost about $20,000 in a month and a half. No joke. I'm not even kidding. $20,000 in a month and a half on that uh, Grand Wagoneer. So what happens? Where does that money go? I bet you guys are thinking, well, he probably wraps it up. He probably wraps that negative equity up into the next vehicle and, and keeps himself buried in debt. I actually don't. That's not what I do. Um, what I did, and some of you are going to believe me and some of you are not, and that's fine. But I paid the 20 grand. I did. I paid the 20 grand and I walked away from it. That way I'm not wrapping up any negative equity into my new purchase. I am not that guy. I take my credit very seriously, my finances very seriously. No way I would wrap that kind of debt up into another vehicle, especially one as expensive as the TRX. So um, I got a good deal on the TRX. I'm happy with it. I love the Escalade, regardless of what any of you might think after watching my Grand Wagoneer video. 
I've always loved the Escalade. I always will. This one concerns me a little bit because I see some very deep sanding marks. Very deep sanding scratches. Something's going on on this panel. Oh yeah, for sure. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we've got, there's fish eyes all over the place. Now, I, you guys won't be able to see it, I'm sure. This black paint makes it hard to see. But there are fish eyes. There's pitting, and there's deep sanding marks here. So this thing had to have been damaged somewhere in this quarter. And if you notice, this bumper is scratched up along here. It looks like they repainted this. They did not repaint this. And unfortunately, they've got a, a liner up in here, so you can't see what's going on there. This has been painted, too interesting okay huh well that's why it's important when you uh when you're bidding at auctions to really go out and look these vehicles over very very carefully now with that said uh is this something i wouldn't buy because it's got some pre-existing damage i'd buy it anyway you guys know me i don't care <laughs> that's just me i don't care doesn't matter to me if it's been wrecked or not if it looks good and she'll get me down the road i'll drive it Absolutely. Where's the hood release? Right there. Come on. Oh. oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Beautiful engine right there. The the one thing I think that concerns me a little bit is this coolant reservoir is overfilled by far. Like, somebody filled it up to the top. I'm not sure why they would do that. Um, but, yeah. You can hear it. It runs great. It looks good. It really is a beautiful vehicle, guys. Beautiful vehicle. I'll never, never hate the Escalade. I actually really do love these things. AC is ice cold. Steering, very light, surprisingly light in something this big. Brakes feel good. Important window works. Less important window also works. Gears. Reverse. And the seat vibrates. I hate that. I really hate that. Forward and backwards, not an issue, man. It's even got the it's even got the screens in the back here, so the kiddos or whatever can watch television, watch movies, stuff like that. Very nice. I love it, I do, but I am not looking for another SUV. I, I honestly feel that the TRX is everything I love about cars and trucks, just built into one vehicle, and I have fallen in love with it. Next on my list, the Cadillac Limousine. We had one of these not too long ago. Now, I don't know for sure if this is a limo or if this is one of those funeral home cars, but I'm going to bet it's probably a funeral home car. It looks just like the one that we had on the channel not too long ago. Yes, it is. It is. This is definitely a, a funeral service car. You got the, well, <laughs> that's not exactly how mine was set up. These seats are so close together, there's no way anybody could fit. Um, that seat's on a track, I think. Yeah, it's on a track, so that seat can move all the way back here. I'm guessing. Okay. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. Um, these cars don't go for much, sadly. I mean, I, I, I guess it makes sense. There's not really a market for funeral cars, right? I, I mean, really, who wants one of these? Well, I do, because I love the weird, quirky, oddball type cars and and this is one of them so i'm definitely going to put this on my list as a potential uh purchase it is a 2000 deville 38,000 miles these things never have high mileage never because they're only used to go from the funeral home to basically the graveyard right and then from the graveyard back to the funeral home that's it that's all these cars are used for so they never end up having high mileage on them. And unfortunately, they just, they're not worth much because nobody's interested in them. Nobody wants one of these. When you think about it, think of how bad things have happened in this car, right? I mean, not necessarily in the car, but just think of all the negativity, all the sadness, all the hurt, all the pain that has sat in those back seats. And I think there's a lot of people out there that just, they don't want any kind of residual negativity coming their way, you know? Now, I'll be honest with you, I've never had a problem. Like, I've, I've had funeral cars before, and I've never experienced anything strange. I've never had any, you know, bad stuff randomly start happening to me. Uh, 
I think it's a cool car. That, that's all, you know, regardless of the, the sad things that have happened, I, I just enjoy the car. It's got rear AC right there with the, the blower motor, that's nice. The AC's ice cold, low mileage, no warning lights on the dash, 6.6 .6 average miles a gallon. Revs nicely, super smooth. Goes into drive just fine, reverse, just fine. This is one of those that people are gonna be terrified of because of, of the North Star engine. People hate the North Star engine. Important window works, less important window works. Now on mine, I had a console down here and I could control the side windows, but this one does not seem to have that. I don't know if the trunk opened or not, but I definitely want to pop the hood. I have no controls over here for those windows. Power steering feels good, brakes feel good, all that good stuff. There's supposed to be a switch on this door though. Yep, there is. Yeah, okay, good deal. The trunk did open. These, these are fun. I, I really had a good time with mine. I drove it everywhere. Uh, the wheels and tires, they're very special. They're very, uh, take a look at that, uh, at that bore there super large bore right super large hub bore in the middle and the bolt pattern yeah these things take like these are massive truck wheels and tires uh specific to these cadillac limousines the vinyl top is in really good shape usually those things are all cracked up and messed up this is an absolute beauty i really shouldn't have come here because this one is going on my list a hundred thousand percent this is definitely going on my list. This is a beautiful car. Absolutely beautiful. Well, it's not quiet, that is, man. Purr is like a kitten. Ah, I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it, but I'm going to. I'm going to. I want this car. I think out of everything that I've looked at today, uh, I think this is my favorite. This is absolutely... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, figure that out later. This... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is it, guys. Comment below. Tell me what you think of the limousine. Should we do it? Or should I leave it alone? Next, we got a 2019 Mercedes-Benz GLE 63S. It's a bi-turbo V8. This thing is sick, guys. It's got a nice set of Continental tires. Walk around, the body looks really good. AMG, of course. This is probably from Mercedes-Benz of Oklahoma City. John, if you're watching this video, I'm filming your car. Yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. Let's see what the miles are on it. You got carbon fiber inserts on the door, carbon fiber inserts on the dash, nice heavily bolstered seats. You got the running boards for whatever reason, because God knows stepping from there to there would be just, that would be too hard. That would be far too difficult. Uh, fire it up. Oh, wow. That's, that's mean right there. Yeah, that's mean. <laughs> I like it. You even got like carbon fiber overlays inside of the gauges look at that oh that is that is beautiful that is beautiful the mirror is broken all right air conditioning's ice cold i still don't know what the miles are on it though i don't even see them maybe you got to close the door let's try that let's close the door there we go Twenty nine thousand miles on the odometer She's a, she's a bad girl, no doubt about that. All right, you got that old school shifter right there. Yeah, she goes right into drive and right into reverse. And look at that backup camera. That AC feels so good, it feels so nice. Uh, obviously all the windows and stuff are gonna work. This car is still relatively new. It's got a busted windshield, I'm sure that's not cheap. And we'll go take a look at that real quick as well. Let's pop the hood. Let's take a look back here as well. It's kind of like a, oh, can you not? It's got a tow hitch. 
in the middle of the diffuser it's got a big it's got a massive tow hitch wow okay uh-oh that was supposed to open oh there she goes all right i really like this i really do i wonder what something like this goes for at the auction you got the space saver spare tire down there yeah this is decent guys That exhaust is amazing. A little quiet for my taste though. Let's let's listen to this uh, this engine under here if we can. Come on. There she goes. Look at this. Tell me that's not a thing of beauty right there. Woo! Man. Yeah. I want this. I want this. I can't afford this, but I want it. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I can't afford it. I don't know how much these things go for, guys. I do know this windshield right here took a nasty hit. It just spiderwebbed all over. So that windshield is probably very expensive. There are multiple sensors in the windshield. That's not going to be cheap. Big, big brakes, man. Drilled and slotted. Good Lord. I would love to know the horsepower numbers on this. So I know one of you knows what it is. Comment in the comment section right now and tell me what the horsepower and torque specs are. And if you happen to know, I would love to know what the zero to 60 is on something like this. This is phenomenal. I, I love this. Like I really do. I love this sport mode. That's the mode I would want it in right there or sport plus. Yeah, sport plus. That's the mode I like the Mustang in, is Sport Plus mode right there. All right, can we turn this down? This, this, uh, hell, I don't know how to work all this. Give me a minute, there we go. There we go. Let's see if we can. Whew. This is nasty. <laughs> this is nasty. Oh my God, I love it. I'm gonna shut it off. Yeah. I really, 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 really like this one, guys. Uh, I'm going to put this on my list. Not that I can afford it. I, I seriously doubt I can afford this. But I do have a fresh line of credit that is it far exceeds the original line of credit I got for car purchases. So this might actually be attainable. The problem I'm having, though, is anybody can come. Well, not anybody, but any dealer can come to this auction and purchase a car, right? But... I am really wanting to bring a Lamborghini Gallardo to the channel, and I almost got one this week. I lost it by $5,000. And I know you're probably thinking, well, what's five grand? Believe me, after auction fees and everything, it's a lot. It's a lot. Five grand is a lot. So um, we were this close to getting it. Unfortunately, we didn't. However, there's another one that I'm watching, and it's actually wrecked. And I think we could repair it. I do. I think we could actually fix it. And uh, it's a spider as well. It's a Gallardo, Gallardo spider. So I would probably rather get something like that than buy something like this. But comment below and tell me what you think. Would you pick something like this ready to go from the auction that just needs a windshield? Or would you rather see a Gallardo on the channel that we actually have to put together? Last one on my list, guys. An E500. I don't know what year it is. We're going to have to find that out together. The rear air suspension doesn't look like it's in very good shape. It's it's sitting down on the ground. What year is she? She's an 05 E500. I love the E-Class. It's like the perfect middle ground between the, the tiny C-Class, the ridiculously large S-Class. I think the E-Class is just a perfect mid-size car. Well, assuming that comes up off the ground anyway. She's obviously got a leak. I'm going to assume that this is not ABC. This is probably Airmatic. She's got a clear bra that's turned to junk on the mirror caps and on the front of the hood. It's in really bad shape. I wonder what the miles are on her. Let's see if she wants to start. 112? 112,000 miles, not bad. A lot of times to get the Airmatic to work, you gotta have the door closed. So if you shut the door, Come on, come on, old girl. Uh-oh. No, that doesn't seem to be doing any good, does it? The entire back end is just 
stuck on the ground. Yeah. Well, crap. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. I swear I just saw it move. Come on, girl. Come on, you can do it. No. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. It's taking a minute, but she's getting there. Okay. I might be interested in this one. I mean, I probably would be interested in it anyway. She's having a real hard time, guys. She's getting there, though. So it's obviously got a leak somewhere. Who knows? It could be in the airbag. It could be in one of the lines. I don't know. But she's coming up off the ground, and that's the important thing, which means the, the suspension is still working. It just has a leak somewhere between here. I think the compressor, it either sits under here or it sits up under here. I can't remember, but this side's coming up off the ground too. Let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick. I also want to turn on the air condition. Oh, the air condition is already on. How about that? Ooh, and it works. That AC is nice. All right. Yeah, that is, that is real nice. Turn it on and recirculate. Crank that baby up. There we go. Well, while we're sitting here, why don't we find out if it's got gears? Oh yeah, right into reverse. Right into drive. We do have a check engine light. Uh, honestly, that's amazing. That's the only light on the dash other than low battery and service brakes. Brakes feel good. Steering feels good. The important window, obviously, functions. Less important window functions. Cup holder here. No, just a coin slot. Glove box. We have our books. That's always nice. Ashtray doesn't look like it's been used. Cup holders. This is actually a decent car so far, guys. Honestly, I like this. I like this a lot. Let's get that hood popped. All right. Close this door. She's sitting a little high off the ground right now. Somebody had the suspension in raised mode. So I've gone ahead and put it back into the normal driving mode. Obviously we got a tire going flat back there. Did the trunk pop? No, it did not. All right. I don't like that clear bra, but aside from that, she's not she's not too bad as far as cosmetics go. Check under the hood here. Oh, she runs really good. This is nice. She's nice and quiet. It looks like somebody very recently replaced the valve cover gaskets. I can see blue, and that looks relatively new. Yeah, this is a... This is a beautiful car, guys. I love it. I love it. Let's close that hood. Let's see if we can pop the trunk from the inside. There should be a trunk button right here. There we go. Oh, okay. She's got a... She even comes with an air compressor. So apparently that tire has been having problems for a while because they got, a, they got an air compressor right here. It's ready to go. And there's a cigarette lighter right here, too. <laughs> Just plug it right in. All right, so that's one problem solved. What do you guys think? I like this one. I do. I like this one. Little E500. She probably needs a little bit of work, but honestly, I think this is a good car. Relatively low miles. 112,000 miles is nothing on one of these, man. Nothing at all. We have ventilated seats. That's super nice. Like I said, that air conditioned, ice cold power everything feels great man you got your sport mode i think i guess that's what that is somebody comment below i don't know it says brakes visit workshop all right windshield washer fluid and that's it that's it 13.6 average miles a gallon 100 freaking degrees outside <laughs> no surprise there i love it man i love it check the sunroof yeah all right well guys this is the last one. I think we're done. With that, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button 
down below. Let me know you enjoyed the content. Share the video with your friends on social media and subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.